I welcome for our online training sessions. Now we are going to upload the journals by using a BDA process. By using a BDA process. File-based data import. First, what we have to do, we have to download the template, right? So whenever we are working with the application, when we want to work with the update, any component, first thing what we have to do is, we need to create a sample data. We need to create a sample data. Now I would like to go for import the journals. We want to import the journals. So let me go for here. Navigator, better to have one sample record in the front end, general accounting, journals, I'm going to create one sample here, create journal. going to enter the batch name. Even if we don't enter batch name, no problem. The system will automatically get uh, created here. It will automatically create the journal batch. So I'm going to mention that here, PWC. Tables, journals. We are going to select some category and accounting dates. And source is manual. I'm selecting the accounting combination here. So let's go for cash account here. And then this is credit account. Here it is. Right. Content. Debit must be equal to credit. Otherwise, suspense account will be created. Right. So we have some sample record here. So now I'm going to prepare a template, a BDA template for journals. So what are the stages for a BDA? The first one is we have to download the template from Oracle documentation. Let's go to Oracle documentation. We have to go to Oracle OER, Oracle Enterprise Repository for Fusion Applications. Go to Cloud Applications here. Go to Financials. Go to All Books here. Go down. File based data import for financials. Select HTML tab. Now we are working for which module in financials? Are you working for assets module, cash management, financials, general ledger? We are working for general ledger. So in general ledger, these are the components we can go for import by using a BDA. Now we would like to work with journal import. So this journal import will be used to import the journals into general ledger. 
and this is the UCM account, Universal Content Management. And this is the folder, Financials, General Ledger, Import. In this folder, we have to keep our UCM server. Whatever the zip file we have prepared, we have to keep it here. This is the template, XLSM template. This we have to download. We don't need to have any software, just MS Excel is enough. If you have MS Excel in your system, then this particular template can be downloaded and opened. Okay. And then we'll try to prepare the data in this template and we'll go for load the data into the applications. We'll go with the scheduled process here. This is the program, import program we have to use to load the data from interface tables to base tables. This is the interface table name and we'll find into the base tables. Okay. First, what we have to do, download this template. Click on this. So the template will be downloaded here successfully. Now open this template. In the first page, we will find the instructions about this particular template. So what system is telling? This template is used to import journals into cloud applications. What is the interface table name? GL underscore interface is used to import your journal entry batch through the journal program. And you need to prepare the data in this template. Then we have to go for load the data. So whatever we have discussed in our previous session, we will find here it is. There will be some more instructions here. No problem. Let's go to this tab. This is our main tab where we are going to enter our data. There will be some sample data here. Okay, so we can go for, uh, we can use shift control down arrow mark. Shift control down arrow mark so that it will be selecting all the records. Delete because we don't want all those records. Just I need one journal. So I'm having two lines. Status is new. It means we are importing new records into the application. What is your ledger ID? Whatever the ledger you are working, whatever the ledger you are working, this ledger ID is required for us. How we can get ledger ID? We need to go to setup and maintenance, FSM environment. But this user does not have the access to FSM. We need to log in with another user. Okay. So if you go for duplicate, we will be losing this data. So what I'll do is I'll go with private window. It means cognizant window, another one. So let's go for uh, copy this URL. I should, you can take up to dot com. Login with your uh, implementation user who is having the access to setup and maintenance, means FSM access. Go to setup and maintenance here. Go to financials. I want to know the ledger ID. Go to primary ledger. Search for your ledger here. So our ledger name is PwC. Press enter key. I don't find the ledger ID here. Go to view menu. Columns. There is a column called a ledger ID. We want to display this. Just click on this. Now I can find the ledger ID. So we have to get this ledger ID. Copy. 
Buffer, prepare lecture ID here. Since it's in another format, let's take uh, into number format here. Can take text format also. Next, date of transaction. I'm mentioning 22nd July 2022. Source, what is the source name? Journal source name. So we, we, if we look at here in our journals, the source is manual is there, but I would like to create my own source. I would like to create my own source name. So you can do it from here, journal source. Manage journal sources. Source is nothing but the organ of your account, right? PwC source. Client will tell us what is the name they would like to have for this. Do you want to go for uh, journal import references? You want to allow? Yes, we want to allow. Do you need any approvals for this source of accounts? No, I don't want any approvals. Do you want to use any import using key? Limit journals to the single currency. It means when you try to load the journals by using this source, you can restrict it to the single currency if required. We can do that here. But anyway, those things are not required for us right now. We just want to use the source name here. Go for save and close. This source name, I would like to go with this. Then category, so whatever the category we have, journal categories. So let's say I would like to go with the existing one called adjust, adjustment. Some of the categories may not be exist when you try to do the manual edit when you try to do manual entry because of this checkbox. Exclude from manual journal entry. Exclude from manual journal entry. You want to create a new category, you can go for create a new category here. So we can create a new category here, PWC. We can also use this category. Currency code, I'm going to use US dollar. Journal creation date today, July 2022. Actual flag, either A or E. A for actual amount, A for encumbrance. So A is a standard. And now the segment values. So how many segments we are using for our ledger? Three segments, right? This values I would like to go for it. 101, 1001, 1001, 001. We don't want segment. After that, we are entering the debit amount, right? This. So, whatever we are entering in the front end, see, front end we are giving ledger name. What I have given in Excel ledger ID and date we have given as it is. Category I have provided. Source name I have provided. Creation date I am providing. Accounts I am processing. This debit amount also I am going to pass. So like this, whatever we do in the front end in the system, the same thing we are trying to do it here in the template. Here. Debit amount. I am going to mention that. Double seven double eight. That's a debit amount. Converted debit amount is not required. So batch name, 
PWC, FBDA, batch name, batch description. For easy understanding, I'm mentioning journal entry name. Journal entry description. The remaining fields are not mandatory. So I'm just going to remove it. And what is your interface group? In case if you want to have some group ID for identification, we can have some group ID. So one, two, three is there. We can continue, not a problem. We don't want any group ID, we can remove that. Period name. So whatever the period is there, that we have to follow. Here is the period name that we have to follow. Attributes are nothing but additional columns that we don't need here. That's a debit entry. Let's go for a credit entry here. That is also same ledger ID, same combination we are going to follow here and replace. And uh, segment is changed, right? This is our cash account. So what is this account here? 006. How come it is 006? Only three digits cash. Is it? Let me cross check. Okay. No, there is another one cash. That's what I was wondering. Actually, it will be five digits. It's a user defined. Somebody might have created. Uh, I'm mentioning this actual cash account 11200. 11200. Fine. So this is what our actual credit debit amount should be equal to credit amount, right? So I'm mentioning double seven double eight. This converted debit, converted credit is not required. The so remaining this all fields are same. So now the template is ready. Before you go for upload, better to save this template because if there are any errors, again, we can go for make changes and go for upload. If we don't say what happened after converting into CS file, then we cannot open. So better save it first. Okay, next. Now we will prepare the CSV file. So if we look at our stages, we downloaded the template. Let's prepare the data for template. That's we have completed. Now we are going to generate the zip files. Go to the first page here. Generate CSV file. And it will automatically generate the zip file. So let me keep it in this local mission here. ESV file and also the zip file will be generated. You can check this. Go to GL, you can find GL interface. 
Okay. So now we will go for next stage. Upload the file to Oracle. Whenever we try to upload, we have to use this folder. We have to use this folder. Otherwise, while running the program, while running the interface process, we can directly upload into the server. So what we'll do is, while running, we'll go for select. Let me cancel this process. Go to scheduled process, go to navigator, tools menu, scheduled processes. Schedule new process. So we are going to run the interface program. This is standard program for any data FBDA import, we have to use same program. Whether you load suppliers, customers, journals, invoices, program name will be load file interface. It's taking a long time here. Sometimes we need to refresh the page. Here we have to take load interface file for import. Select this program and we press OK. Then it's going to ask us which data you are trying to import. The import process is journals, right? Click on this here. Import journals. That is the program name we are going to use. Import journals and upload your data file here. So if your file is already there in the server, you can directly choose, but I'm going to upload now. Upload a new file, choose this file. Where is our file? It's there in our local machine. Take this. Go for submit. Now what this program will do, this program will import the data from your CSV files into interface tables, into interface tables here, load file to interface. Now data is loaded successfully into the interface table. I would like to check whether data is exist in the interface tables or not. So how we can check in the cloud environment. 
So when we are working in the cloud environment, so let's log in with your implementation user. Whenever we want to connect to the database, when we are working in the cloud environment, there is only one method that is BI reports. So go to navigator tools menu. We have to go to here reports and analytics. Go to browse catalog. Once we go to browse catalog here, what is our interface table name? This is interface table name. So we want to check the data is exist in this table or not. Create data model. Here we can go for write the SQL query. So select data source is uh, finance supply chain management. And write the query here, GL underscore interface. Select star from GL underscore interface table. So we are trying to select the data from the database. Our name is duplicated, it looks like. So now we have got already here one. This is not required actually. Now if we look at here, there are more records, right? There are number of records in our uh, result, right? But we need only our records. In the interface table, there are more records, but we would like to retrieve only our records. We need to filter the data. So we have to write the where class. We have to write the where class. So we can write the where class based on the creation data created by, or we can take our source name. We can choose our source name. So I'm going to write the source name here. created two queries, not required it is actually, it seems. What is our source name in our template we given, right? Already we have given this is our source. So let's take this. And we are going to filter only our records. Go to data, view. Now we can find there are two records in our interface table. What is the status? New status new status we can find our ledger id and we can find debit this is about segments and this is about our uh, journal state items so we have the data in the interface table okay now we have to run the standard program 
So it, this program has done interface program. Now the data is there in the interface table. So what is a standard program? Standard program is this import journals. This is our standard program. So here we have to move the data into the base tables. For that, what we have to do? We have to run the standard program called import journals. Let's go to here. Schedule new process. Search for the main program. Put journals. Import journals. Go for standard program, import journals. Now, what is your ledger name? PWC ledger source. So whenever we choose the source name, then what happened? It will pick the data as per your source here. So what is your source name? PWC source, right? Select. And you got ledger and you want to see you got your group ID also one, two, three is there. If there are multiple groups, you can choose this multiple groups over here. So I'm selecting my group ID one, two, three here. And post create summary journals. If there are some descriptive flux fields, you want to go for import those. We can say that like yes or no. Let's go for submit this. Now this program is going to validate the data which we have in the interface table. And then it's going to import it to the base tables. Import journals. program has completed successfully here. Now we can check the data in the interface table also. So the data has been uploaded successfully. Let me check first in the front end. Go to journals. If the data is there in the base tables, means if we have a data in the product tables, we can get it from the front end here. Go to manage journals here. And we can choose a source name and such so that we will get only our journals having this source you can filter like this. Now we can find this journal batch and journal name and the debit and uh, credit amount here, source name, category name. We can find all the details here, description, journal name, everything a journal description here you can find. And now we will find the data in the interface table. For example, if I go for, if the data is loaded successfully, then we don't find that data in the interface table. In case if there are some errors, for example, system has identified some errors in your journals, then we will find the data in the interface table with the status as error, with status as error, okay? So that's how we will be able to import the data 
by using this MBDI process. So if we work for any component, uh, we will be finding the same procedure. Processor is same, but the data validations and program name might be different. Interface tables are different from component to component. Okay, thank you. I'll keep this Excel sheet also you can download over there. Thank you.